So, first thing, um, what is the definition of sterile? Non-contaminated. It's like, it's not contaminated in any way. Yeah, it's uh, all microorganisms are absent. Okay. So what are some situations that we would perform sterile technique as nurses? Um, when we're doing anything sterile, so like, like anything that is invasive? Yeah, so like... So like needles? Needles? Okay, well, surgical sepsis, like completely sterile. So like... Oh, okay. We'll, we'll talk about that more, but um, so things like OR. In the OR, we have to be sterile. Mm -hmm. um, when you're inserting a Foley catheter, you have to be sterile, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a difference between alcohol pad and an actual like, betadine, that's sterile. Alcohol pad is okay. medical sepsis, which is just clean, and we'll go over that later. Okay. Um, also, any like dressing changes on any wounds will have to be sterile. Oh, okay. No. And like uh, central line changes, do you know what that is? Yeah, you have the central line that goes mm -hmm. to the heart. Yeah, Yeah, those have to be sterile because you have to change it every three days or every week, depending if they have a bio patch or not. But you'll learn about that in lab. Okay. So those are just some examples. Um, remember, so suppository is not sterile. Yeah. And neither is NG tube because the GI tract is considered, is considered outside the body, so yeah. it's not sterile. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so you guys talked about when you obtain a sterile field, right? When you set one up. Kind yeah. Of thing? Yeah. So what are the rules once you have a sterile field? Um, I can ask this on the test, like stuff that would apply or like scenarios, things like that. Like you don't cross over it? Yep. Don't cross over field. That could just transport some microorganisms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't reach across. What else? Uh, like if you, if there's any, like if it gets any moisture, if you spill anything on it, then it's considered mm -hmm. non-sterile. So, if it gets wet, do you know why that is? Because, like, he said that it soaks up the bacteria from underneath the cloth, right? That's um, yeah, that's because because if the water falls on your sterile field, that like p water or paper or whatever is in between yeah. that is now permeable. So now the okay. microbes can use the water and get through. Okay. So yeah. Okay, what are some other ones? Um, Hands above waist? Oh, yeah. And then you have to, like, yeah, don't touch any of your clothes or anything like that. Yeah, don't so touch any, you keep your hands above your waist. And then if you, so if you drop it, your hands are in the now, you have to re-glove. Yeah. Um, and then another one is, like, if you take your eyes off of this, so, like, if you leave yeah. the sterile fill. Um, so always face sterile field. Right, so like in the ER, or sorry, OR, it's a student and you're in there, and the students is like a sterile field, they won't even let you walk across like this, because you're not like walking across like this. So, our face is on. There we go. Hmm. So yeah, make sure you're sterile field. You're always facing it, so don't turn your back to it. Um, if you're uncertain about Something like is it sterile or not? It's just considered not sterile. Okay. So uncertainty equals not sterile. Okay. Um, what? How, how big is the border? The sterile border. One inch yeah, on so the other side. Yep. Um. You can't talk or sneeze or cough across the field. And this more applies for like the dressing changes and everything. Mm -hmm. Even though you're going to wear a mask. And then it's fine to talk. Okay. It's like the surgeon, right? He's right mm -hmm. over there with the mask, so that's okay. So like if you did have to sneeze or something and you like turned your head or you kind of got away and you sneezed and then you came back, is that okay? Just make sure you like fully cover it. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. 